large capacity crowd certainly behind the Texas tornado all the way. One of the more likable, affable individuals. Uh, you know, look at this, Piccoli, his opponent is uh, a little nonplus about this whole thing, you know. I mean, He's not impressed with the music. He wants not to wrestle. At all. No. He wants to wrestle. Looked like his parents built him a swing facing the wall. Man, you see that mug on him? Spicoli? Yeah. Oh. Not, not only, notice the outfit Mumsy made him. You learn a lot about a guy, especially when you read something like Spotlight, where you were on the cover, Roddy Piper, and yeah. your career was really uh, fantastic, except it doesn't have anything about the IRS uh, doing the audit on you. Hey. Well, yeah, that's uh, an unfortunate uh, occurrence, and certainly not a laughing matter whatsoever. And. Uh, what are you guys uh, any, talking about? Anyone man? can be audited by the IRS. It doesn't mean anything, Hot Rod, in your defense. It doesn't mean whether... It doesn't listen, mean he's innocent. Listen, whoa. It doesn't mean he hasn't paid his taxes every year either. Whoa, whoa, guys. These are a lot of unanswered whoa! questions. Whoa! What is it? I don't mind. I love this country. And Uncle Sam, anytime you want to look over my shoulder and check it all out, I pay my taxes and I always have that. This country free is we all pay enough to keep it combined and free of the whip wrapped out. But if you got somebody like Irwin that's just sticking his holes in, so I gotta get my accounts and just trying to be a pain in the butt to make a name for himself because he hasn't got the guts to climb the ladder in the by himself. That ticks me off. As well as Thank should. you. Okay, end of subject. Wow. I'd like to ask one more two, question. Stop it. There are two things apparently that we can't talk about. One's taxes and the other one's marriage. Don't say that word. Don't you say taxes? Oh, Never mind. Let's get back to the match. All right. Spamoli. Spamoli. Mom's Spicoli. outfit. Yes. Got Spicoli. it. Mom should have made him some undertakes, too. What about that? Spicoli sounds like an Italian ice cream, huh? <laughs> Been eating that pasta. Quit talking, start fighting. Oh, oh. Yeah, don't don't make this man angry. Oh, no. A big punch. Now, Terry Von Eric, the Texas Tornado, we talked about earlier on, is one of the nicest guys around, but don't make him angry, folks. Why well, would you stand on the apron? Vincent, you have never wrestled, I know that. I'm the blind guy. Why would you stand on the apron and push another guy in the face without knocking him out? I mean, I don't understand. You're going to have to ask Mr. Spicoli that question. I suppose so. What yes. a you ask Irwin? Stop it now. We're going to start. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't you ask Elizabeth the question? And you know the yeah. question we're talking yeah. about. Oh, you're a real good mediator, Vince oh, McMahon. You're causing the World Listen, War Nine. I right think now. you look good. You look good down on one knee. Wait, oh, oh, I said that. Forget about it. Roundhouse right after that. It's all over, folks. And the Texas Tornado, Kerry Von Eric, gets the dupe. And it doesn't matter whether or not you're being audited by the IRS. And hey. it doesn't matter whether or not you're going to ask a certain lady to marry you. What are you talking about? What hey. matters is that that man is victorious. As we go back to the replay. Why don't you take a ride on your yacht and check Kerry Von Eric? Whoa, I hope you run out of gas on that yacht. There you got yourself a winner, you old yuppie. Erwin, our shyster.